This week on Dear Bros, what happens when you have a promise ring, but no more promise. Stay tuned. Ring, stay on. You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all fucking day. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Bro Down Podcast. I'm Andrew Smith. And I'm Tim Fulton. And this is Dear Bros. Dear Bro. Dear Bros, when we uh, rip some advice columns from very famous advice columnist, Dear Abby. And That's we just pretend that they wrote to us. So this is Tim's topic. Tim, what do you got? The anti-promise ring. ring All right, so this one is actually called Stone Purchase for Promise Ring Has Uncertain Future. Okay. Dear Abby, or dear bros, I'm just going to start pretending to talk yeah. to us. Dear bros, I had a relationship with a wonderful woman for almost six years. During the course of our relationship, I purchased a rather expensive precious stone. He's not saying a diamond exactly what she wanted with the intent of giving to her as a promise ring. Neither of us are fans of the institution of marriage. So he pointed out that it's not going to be an engagement ring, but that's by design. So it's it's their version of an engagement ring. Basically. Okay. Uh, we have since gone our separate ways, but we still communicate. Because it was purchased for her, I'm tempted to give it to her, uh, to give her the stone. At the same time, I've entertained the notion of keeping it and giving it to my future life partner should I meet someone I care for deeply. Your guidance would be greatly appreciated. Romancing the stone. Mm, why don't I give Go. my dumb advice first? Go. Don't give that to the next person. That's fair. Exchange it. Get a new one. I like where your head is at. You can do the same thing, but get a new one. Because mm-hmm. some people might not care. Some people are like that. Yeah. Some people don't need anything, just like a little symbol of whatever, and they're good. But that's a dangerous game. It is a dangerous game. This might be a really short tier of bros because I'm basically in the same exact boat. Don't give to her because it's a promise oh, no. for something that's not a promise anymore. Don't give it to your next person because, like you said, like not everyone will care, but there's there might be someone who might just be like, or, or. Hmm. Give it to yourself. No, this Have is a giant there's no way, ceremony. There's no way this would work. But it's like that's the test. If they care, then you don't want to give it yeah, to. Yeah, but them. it's a promise ring. That's like I'm gonna wait a year into this relationship. Then test her. Test. Hey, she had, she needed time to study. <laughs> um. Yeah, don't give it to, to pop her. quiz, bitch. <laughs> this this guy sounds like a nice person. Because yeah, yeah. he's like, oh, I want to give it to her because I bought it for her. But then he's like, but I might want to save it for the person it's meant to be for. That ring sounds like it's special to him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I get it. Like, it's special to you. But, like, you can't give that to somebody else. Because if, you, if you're if you naive and dumb, you're going to just say, yeah, I, I originally bought it for a different girl. Plus, and now it's for you. Yeah. Plus, if we're deep diving here, and I mean, I'm really going in for a stretch. Every time you look at it, you might be thinking of someone else. Even yeah, you if don't. You, yeah, no. Exchange. Get a different one. Yeah, get a different one. Get a different one. And okay. make sure that. Sell it for cash for now. Who knows if you're going to meet someone else anyway. Buy something pretty. Buy yourself a car. Yeah. Yeah, don't, 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 don't keep it. But he's like, he's asking because he doesn't want to do the wrong thing. Yeah. No, I find this guy noble as hell. Yeah. A little. A little on the unaware side. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, but that's a, there's, a, there's a bliss in that. I'm dying to know what kind of stone it is. Amethyst. It's a, <laughs> it's a fun word. Um, I yeah, bought, this I was, bought an opal. This was a short one. It was a short one. Yeah. Let's read another one just because. It's yeah, you did, well, let's read what Abs has to say. Oh, first. shit. I almost forgot about yeah, that let's part. Let's read the actual advice column this is dear who cares but she has to say this is a dear bro segment uh dear romancing promise rings symbolize the promise of a proposal of marriage in the case of your former girlfriend it didn't pan out because the two of you still communicate why not mention to her that you still have the stone and ask if she would like to have it if she says no you can always offer it to someone else although i can't promise the lady will be eager to receive a souvenir of a failed relationship what ask her hey do you want this expensive ring that you could just sell because we're not dating. Oh, what's that, honey? Oh, this is just a ring for my ex-boyfriend. A promise ring that we're going to get married. What? And you, you're keeping it. How's that going to work? 
It ain't. Oh shit. Oh, Tim's going down. Um, how's that gonna work? I'm shorter than normal. I don't like it. <laughs> That's terrible advice. That is. I'm not a fan of that advice. That. No. No, don't tell her about no. it. No. Don't tell her. That's about like it. wearing a wedding ring when you're getting remarried from yeah. your previous marriage. Yeah. No. No, yeah. sorry, but no. She had it right in the first half. It's a symbol. You can't keep that symbol around. You can't keep that symbol but around. But it's almost rude to ask her to take it because if she's any kind of whatever, like, this isn't some, you know, bar coaster yeah. or some fucking fridge whatever. Like, it's it's not just this, uh, yeah, it's fucking whatever. It's a ring. It's not like, oh, I got you this book for Christmas, but I don't have anyone to give it to. Do you want it still? Like, yeah. It's, it's a wedding ring. It's not a wedding ring, but it's a wedding ring. Ugh. No, toss it. Garbage. <laughs> Done. Next. Next question. All right, I'm picking this one off the fly. Uh, rambunctious dog damages car and clothes. Let the dog go. This one's easy. A fr- <laughs> you monster. No, let the dog go, meaning all charges are dropped. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. If the leash doesn't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> if we had listeners, we would hear a mouthful off that one. Uh, a friend of mine has a 70-pound dog that behaves badly. When I visit her, it sprints out of the front door barking and jumps on my car. Ooh. It has left three half-inch long deep scratches on two of my vehicles. She yells at it, and eventually the dog stops, but not before jumping on me and leaving me muddied and snagged. My friend is due to have a baby, and I'm sure she will be inviting me over to meet the baby soon. How can I avoid further damage to my car and clothing without damaging my friendship? Wait, so scroll up. This is her neighbor or her... Her friend. A friend of mine has a 70-pound dog. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we do all know friends or someone in our lives that have those pets that you're just like, eh. Yeah. Put a better leash on that thing, please. Well, here's the thing. I've had dogs that they're known for jumping on yeah. stuff. I, But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Unless, like, the, if the dog does it to every single car, then it's it like, like it dude, does. like, just leash the dog or, like, don't let the dog outside. But, like, I got to tell the story because this is – this go. is I just go, reminded, go, 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 go. Uh, um, John, my brother's dog, Bear, for whatever reason, hated John. Bear would just walk up to the, every car, just walk up and stare at you. For whatever reason, John, he would jump on his car. Every time. He would just jump on his car. It got to the point where, like, when he pulled up, you had to put the, you had to put the dog away. But, yeah, you, if the dog does it all the time, I mean, I... Just what? tell her. Tell her. Yeah, just tell her. Be like, can you put the dog away before I come over and scratch my car? Yeah. You're overthinking it. Dog scratched my car. Do you mind putting her away before I come over? It's not like you're saying, like, pay for my damage. And it's not like you're saying, like, euthanize the thing. You're just saying, can you put it away? Yeah. I yeah. think this is being overthought. Yeah. Can't be mad at the dog. He's a good old boy. Good, good boy. Uh, Dear Assaulted. Is that Assaulted in Austin? I'm no longer for you. Uh... The obvious answer is to find the courage to tell your friend you are willing to visit only if she confines her dog so it won't cause further damage to your property. And while you are at it, mention that you are concerned about her baby's safety. Her dog's lack of discipline poses a distinct danger to her defenselessness and vulnerable little one. I mean, every animal is different, but I know dogs who like to jump. My my neighbor has a uh, golden retriever. Best dog in the world. His name is Guinness. They call him Guinea. <laughs> adorable he is a unit he is massive jacked or uh just not, big just, just big okay he's a very big golden retriever think golden retriever and then like double it okay he will jump like a mofo all he wants is love and so i end up scratches all over me whenever i go over there but he sees a baby or like anything little and he immediately goes into that i must watch where i put my ball yes yeah. i need yeah. Kind of mode. Yeah, a lot of dogs are like that. Yeah, a lot of dogs are like yeah. that. Yeah. I don't think Abby's got any pit bulls. No, no. Sounds like sounds like she don't like dogs that jump. Mac, that will make you want to jump, jump. Our advice was better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Any last thoughts before I sign us out this beach? Uh, dogs are awesome, and uh, don't give the person the promise ring. That's what I thought. Let us know what you think about these topics in the comment section down below. What would you do with the precious stone? My precious. It's <laughs> Gollum. <laughs> what would you do about the puppy? Uh, don't forget that you can find your – or you can find your – I'm speaking English. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it very You're well. You're trying to. It's almost like a second language. The classes are working. Uh, you can find Dear Abby for yourselves. We don't just like to rip advice column questions off of her. We want to point you in her direction as well. If you just Google uh, Dear Abby, you'll find all of her advice column questions, and if they're all a hoot, not just the ones that we give here today. Also, did you know that you can ask those questions directly yourself? You can do so by going to BroDownPro.com. We have a little portal there where you can ask questions to your heart content. You can do so anonymously. If you choose to leave your email, we'll even let you know when your question is being answered. That's been it for Dear Bros. We'll catch you guys next time. Ask us anything. Anything. You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all